Dustin with the PPC Pros doing this video. I'm gonna do a quick uh, little walkthrough, little case study. People always ask all the time, can Google Ads work for me? How long does it take to get results? What can we expect? And I would say that a lot of people, it's not always the same for everybody, but I wanted to show you an example of a tour operator we ran a brand new campaign for. They never did Google Ads before. Um, we ran this over the summer and it was for a new tour that they've never actually uh, it was like a new a new offering so not something they had a lot of you know previous people have been on it before and originally this was kind of like a test to prove concept can we book out at least 600 bookings over the course of the summer we ended up getting double that um, through a multitude of efforts not just google ads also some organic some other things as well not that we were involved in those but there was more to it but we, we did pretty darn good right out of the gate with google ads and i wanted to share that with you and just give you an idea of what that looked like for this client and what you can expect in some cases. So here's what happened. We started right around the first week of May. <clears throat> and you'll see these two lines here. We have a red line, which is our cost per lead. Our blue line, which is the quantity of leads that we were getting. And normally what happens is, and this wasn't actually all of the data either. Um, I'll show you the analytics in a minute. But normally what happens, you start off on a new campaign and you start with a... You know, a higher cost per lead or booking than you would typically get after months or weeks of optimizations. And you typically will end up with a lower volume. Now this isn't this is not always the case, but if you're brand new to Google Ads, a lot of times this is the scenario. And sometimes it could take, you know, days to, to see things start to happen, which is what happened here. Sometimes it could take weeks or months if you're in a place where things are profitable and you're doing well. But that's the typical scenario. So you can see right here we started off and um, right out of the gate, you know, our cost per lead was about 60 bucks. We had eight conversions that week, and then we, you know, quickly started jumping up in the um, number of leads, or I, I keep saying leads, which really bookings or phone calls, and um, the cost for those go down. And some of this was just iterating um, on the campaigns, changing how we were bidding, a lot of a lot of things that happened during that period. Um, but it does work. I mean, right out of the gate, basically, I think if you look at this from a daily perspective. Uh, we launched on on May 11th, and we got leads May 11th. It was an expensive lead. We got one of them, or a booking, but we did. I mean, so it can happen pretty quickly as long as things are dialed in and you have things going right. We did run into a little bit of conversion tracking issues along the way, which meant we weren't actually recording all of our conversions during that first few weeks. It was an issue outside of our control, so it might have been look, look, looked a little bit better, um, but it can work. Now, the question is, can I make money from it? Is it just going to get me people who want a book, but it costs too much? Or is it going to just people pick up the phone and calling, but not booking? And so I'll show you really quickly um, the online booking side of this. We were tracking phone calls and online bookings, but the revenue from the phone calls is not included um, because they just couldn't track it back. We are working on a solution for that, by the way, specifically for tour operators, but um, not quite ready yet. So I'll pop into their analytics. And what we're looking at here, let me just shrink my big old head down. Oh, went all the way over there. So what we're looking at here is basically the data from um, Google Analytics. There's some reason as to why I have these particular comparison. For right now, I'm just going to get rid of one of them to make this a simpler video. I'm gonna go into more detail in another video really soon, like probably later today. But you can see right here from page search, during that same period, there's about $8,100 in ad spend. So not a huge amount, in my opinion. Uh, as far as what was generated from that, we have about fifty-four, about $55,000 of revenue generated directly from online bookings. And then you can see it's about a seven, six and a half, let's call it 6.7 to 1 ROAS. So if you don't know what ROAS means, it means you put a dollar into, in this case, Google Ads, which is, makes up that $8,000. You're putting a dollar in, you're getting back six dollars and seventy cents back. Again, if you factor in the phone call revenue, this is probably closer to an eight, maybe a nine to one. So you're putting in a dollar, you're getting eight or nine back. Um, I don't have those numbers to be 100% sure of that, but in any event, you're putting a dollar in, getting almost seven back. That's pretty good, and chances are, you know, much higher. And you can see in terms of the cost for a lead or a booking, because this is combined here. Um, it's around 25 bucks in this particular case. Sometimes it can be three times that amount. 
really what matters is not how much you're paying for a booking or a lead. It matters how much you're making from that booking or that lead. So that's what's up. Um, so the answer to the question in this particular case, can Google ads work for a new advertiser, in this case, a tour operator? Absolutely, as long as you have the right strategy, the right execution, obviously the right time, right time. Right now he's going into a uh, slower season, so if he were to try to launch something new now, it may not have done so well right out of the gate. So timing is also important, and then of course tracking, understanding your number, understanding your tracking is really important. So you know when things are working, what is working, what's not working, what you can do about it, what should be next on the list. So hope this was helpful. If you have any questions about how uh, a new campaign can get off the ground, whether you're a tour operator or not, feel free to hit us up, comment below, and thanks for watching.